Halo habari zenu. Natumai tuko salama. Si hapa kwangu. Mungu Mungu ni mwema. Si hapa kwangu. Si hapa kwangu. Hapana ni kibelio. Yes. Hapana. Si hapa kwangu kolo. Si hapa kwangu. Viaga. Hamta kwa mnaleta. Leo utaleta vitu kwa hapa. Watu ni mungu ni mtu. Hapana. Si hapa kwangu. Sasa tu ujui huyo. Si hapa kwangu. Aya ibu mwangali ujui huyo. Okay. Mimi niko salama. Au Pastor mimi niko salama. Mimi niko salama na mimi niko salama na mimi sina shida. Riaga. Watu wako na shida ndio wanaombewa. Mimi sina shida. Mimi sina shida. Kolo mimi sina shida. Yeye mimi ni pastor tafadhali. Yeye. Watu wako na shida ndio wanaombewa. Unajua penye pastor amenitoa. Ulikuwa na shida. Na okay, wewe ulikuwa na shida. Nilikuwa na shida. Mimi niko na shida. Na hizi vitu kuna fanya kwa nyumba zinazo. Ah, niko na shida. Hizi vitu kuzinafanya zinafanya kama kwa nyumba ni. Tafadhali. Au na shida? Sina hata kidogo. Eh. Sina shida. Uko sawa? Niko sawa. Yes. You can see. Now kama uko sawa Lazima turuhusu Roho Mtakatifu ashuke. Na lazima turuhusu Mungu aingie ndani yetu. Na tualike uwepo wako mali, uwepo wake mali hapa. So mimi nataka kabla hatujafanya kikao chochote, lazima maombi yafanyike. Sasa pastor ni mtu na mbomi, wananiudhi kabisa. Sasa mimi na sawa. mimi na wewe nani anaudhi Mungu? Wewe unaniudhi. Unasema uko sawa. Hapa si chance. Pastor ni Mungu kufanya vituko kwa nyumba pastor. Mimi sikubali kama hizi. Hapa sita. Mimi Dorina kutafuta upasa kumleta hapa ni kazi. Jesus. 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 Dorin. Dorin. What is not happening? Kwa sababu nilikuwa hapa hivi vitu zilikuwa vizuri. Nini ambacho umefanya nini? Bwana Koriaga. Mimi sijafanya chochote. Mimi sijui ni kiuka aje sijui nini limeingilia nitaki. Mimi hata muulize juu hapa sijafanya. Mimi niko sawa. Na mbona unataka nini? Mbona mfanye hizi vitu zote? Mimi niko sawa. Kolo mimi niko sawa. Huyu si bibi yako. Pastor mimi niko sawa. Asante sana kwa kukuza. Anasema uko sawa na uko na hadi mwanamke mwingine. Hapana. Wewe huyo mwanamke. Ameo uko na mwanamke mwingine? This man. Yes. Riaga. Eh. Riaga. Okay, out of this out kutoka kwa haya maneno yote, Roho wa Mungu ananifundisha kabla hatujaongea, lazima tumhusishe Mungu kwanza kwa maombi. Lazima tuombe kwanza. Ndugu yangu lazima utakubali mtumishi wa Mungu aombe katika nyumba hii. Manake hii nyumba imekuwa ya maombi. Sasa hata tuombe watu watakuwa kuomba. Unaomba. Unaomba. Si hata tuombe. Si tuombe hata chini. Mungu sasa hata tuombe. Hata tuombe. Hata tuombe. Mungu sasa tu chini tuombe. Kasi uko sawa maombi kwani inajua mwenye uko sawa ma uko sawa. Si maombi ni ya kila mtu. Uko sawa uko uko sawa. Sasa hii siku hizi unafanya maombi kivi yako. Na ipero hizi nafanya maombi zangu kivi yangu. Kumbuka bibi yeye anasema wewe are two or three are gathered. The Lord is in the midst. The Lord is here. Tuko hapa tuungane tuombe uko sawa. Mimi niko sawa. Okay, let's pray uko sawa. Maombi ni ya kila mtu. Niombe. Mimi niko hapa kama mchungaji. Mimi ndio nitaomba. Utatuombea namna gani? Na kabla sijaomba nitasoma neno la Mungu. Dorin, ninaona mahali ambapo shida inatoka. Kuna misukumo ya mapepo ambayo inajaribu kuingilia ndoa yako. Sasa mbona mnafanya hizi vitu zote? Kuna misukumo ya mapepo. Na tunapoomba lazima kwa neno lake Mwenyezi Mungu mambo haya yote yadhihirike. Na yoyote ambaye anafanya mambo haya lazima atakuja kujulikana. Kuna misukumo ya uchawi. Kuna misukumo ya mambo ya wanadamu ambayo inataka kusumbaratisha familia hii ambayo imekuwa familia nzuri sana. Nataka kusoma neno la Mungu kutoka kitabu cha Luka hata kujikati ni sawa kujifanya hapo haha ati bebe bwana huyu ni nani tunasikia pasta ati bebe wewe unakujua mbio watu ni kosa Jesus is lord kujua mbio watu ni kosa there is power in the name of the lord ni kosa ya kuna juu na miss bie hata mbele there is power in the name of the lord bebe sasa na nilikuambia bebe unasikia mimi ni bebe huwezi ukamweleza kwani kuna bebe mwingine hapa sipaza nimekuambia huyu what is not happening na anasema kwa single we kwa ni bebo nani kwa nyumba? Nilikuwa nime hao watu wamekuja hapa wamekuja. Atakuomba. Watu wamekuja kuomba. Na mimi ni kuomba. I am a man of God. Mbona mnaomba? Mbona mnashtuka? I am a man of God. Hii nyumba tumekuwa tukiomba tangu kitambo. 
Tangu kujia kwa nyumba wae kujibu ni metoka mwanga liba ya nanyangatia. Ndumana mwakujia kuomba sana. Eee, yeah, mwakujia kuomba kwa nyumba. Dugu, kachi ni kidogo. Pastor, hache. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Najua. There is power in the name of Jesus. 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 Doreen, what is not happening in this house? I don't know. There is power. Power. Wonder working power is the Lord of the Lord of the Lord. There is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lord. Oh, Simon, go, 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 Mwaya yote katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunatangaza moto tunatangaza moto fire of the holy spirit fire of the holy spirit redeem this family final rejection in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ bwana tunakualika ikiwa kuna misukumo tunatangaza katika jina la Yesu Kristo na uimidio upewe sifa katika jina la Yesu na mimi kiomba. Let us have a seat. Hapana mimi sasa. Let us have a seat. Mnafanya tunaweza kaa kidogo tuseme sana. Naomba. Ngo comfortable. My brother Yaga. Kama nisite. Mimi kitu bibi yangu na ndio na. There is power in the name of Jesus. What God puts together no man should put aside. Amen. Hapana. Na neno la Mungu linasema kwamba chochote alichounganisha Mungu hakuna cha kutenganisha. Kumbe nyinyi pia mnajua. Yes. Kumbe nyinyi pia. Kwa hivyo mimi nasema kwamba hata mateso my daughter has been amekuwa kipas to psychological to psychological hapa huko pastor tuunganishe. Ameumia sana. Tukae hapa pastor aunganishe. Piaga. Aunganishe ndoa ya watu wangapi? Si ndoa. Si ndoa. Ndoa gani tena? Hapana. Ile ndoa ninajua ni kati ya ndugu yangu eh, riaga pamoja na sister Doreen Mwende. Lakini wewe sikufahamu. Sikujui hata wewe ni nani? Who are you? Who are you? Ulianza kwa bibi yake. Kuanzia lini? Wewe ni mpango wa kando. Wewe ni bibi yake. Ehe. Ehe tena bibi yake ikaniambia hapa kuna mazito. Dorin, kuna mazito. Sasa. Na lazima Mungu wetu ajidhihirishe. We. Riaga shame on this lady. Hata kuna dada. You stay put. Nakujua wewe kama mtu wa maombi. Najua ya kwamba tunaenda kushinda. Sasa mnakuja kwangu mnatenda church. My brother Riaga. Hapana. Acha kae hapa. Njo tafadhali. Njo tafadhali. Huyu ni mke wako. Shika huyu kwanza huyu ndio shida kwa nyumba. Wewe ndio shida kwa nyumba. Shida gani mimi kwa hiyo ndio kuna very good life with this lady. Sasa nyinyi mnakutangulini. Tangulini kwa one week. Kitambo sana. Kitambo sana. Kitambo sana. Kitambo sana. Ya mimi nimeanza kutangulini you are God almighty. Let your power prevail. 
I give you all the glory in your name. What is going on? There is power in your name. He is expect we will be in his name. Ambaye unawapea watu ufahamu. Ikiwa kuna vitu vimefunga ndugu yaga na viamurisha vianze kumwachia mwaje mbona unaogopa maoni katika jina la Yesu bwana unaogopa maoni dufu za maji na zikataa katika jina la Yesu amen in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus amen I release the power. I release the power of the Holy Spirit. Pata ufahamu katika jina la Yesu. Lazima upokee ufahamu. Lazima utaombewa leo. Acha kunishika. Dore ni mwende. Kwa neno kwa neno la Mungu lazima ushindi upatikane. Nataka tu nisome neno la Bwana. Then Jesus went to Capernaum, a town in Galilee where he taught the people on the Sabbath. They were all amazed. Ha, kama sikiza hili neno. Tutashinda katika jina la Yesu. I know where the problem is coming from. Na tunaenda kupokea ushindi. Nitasoma katika kitabu cha Luka 4 mstari tutaanza 31 na tuende tufike tuende tufike pale chini 41. Then Jesus went to Capernaum, a town in Galilee where he taught the people on the Sabbath. They were all amazed at the way he taught because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue was a man who had the spirit of evil demon in him he screamed out in a loud voice ah what do you want with us jesus of nazareth are you here to destroy us i know who you are you are a, you are a god's holy messenger jesus ordered the spirit be quiet and come out of the man the demon threw the man down in front of them and went out of him without doing him any harm the people were all amazed and said to one another what kind of words are these with authority and power this man gives orders to the evil spirits and they come out and the report about jesus spread everywhere in that region nataka kusema yesu ako na nguvu na ako na ushindi na mamlaka juu ya falme zote za giza mimi nataka kukuarifu ya kwamba your husband is going to be restored mimi nataka kupeleka in a spiritual clinic to jue on the way we are going to move ahead what is there after all my brother is here i know where the problem is coming from the problem is ameweza kushikwa na anga za kimapepo mapepo ameweza kutupiwa majini mapepo ni huyu pepo ni wewe katika jina la Yesu haha anajileta 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 Shetani <laughs> umelaniwa Jesus uko sawa Jesus uko sawa na misidi yako huyu ni mke wako huyu ni mke wako ongea unajui mimi sijui anything eh mimi sijui anything pastor father in the name of Jesus i command evil spirits to 
come out in the name of Jesus. Mapepo ya kushipa na majini katika jina la Yesu. Out. 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 Can you stand up for a little bit? No, simama katika jina la Yesu. Lazima mapepo ya ti. Huyu ni nani? Unajua huyu ni nani? Huyu ni nani? Hapana mapepo ni nani? Kinga cha kujifanya hivyo. Huyu ni nani unamjua? Unamjua huyu? Kama uko sawa mbona tu juu ni? Unamjua huyu? Ose ni Dorin, pastor. Dorin, nani wako? Ni nani wako? Siongee, pastor anauliza mimi. Wewe ni nani nauliza? Wewe ni nauliza. Ni bwana yako? Na huyu? Na wewe unamjua? Ni nani wako? Alikuanga wa alikuwa 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 Tuketi kidogo, tuseme zane. Dorin, naomba unipe part of the story. Haya mambo ya lianza na mnagani. Vile unaelewa ni nikuwa usi na kuja kumbia sista ngu lembo ni kusi. Yes. Mia after kutoka usi ndo na kuja na pata ya guy breathing ime mbadilika. Anelezi shida ni nini, anelezi ya tunipaku maithings. Bebe, kama au watu badu andau kwa 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 so that we need to know what is the main cause ya ishi da yote. Alafu, tujaribu tusemezane, tukone chini sabali tutakayo enda. Kwa sababu, uyu madama mekuja na nguvu zote za kimapepo, na kuna vile anatumia nguvu zingine tofauti, ambazo sio za kawaida, nguvu za kichawi. Wakati ambapo ndugu liyaga na muona, unapata tu ya kwamba liaga akili yake yote inakuwa inaenda kwake so we need to cut out that link so to cut out that link we are going to take steps in the praying number one, uh, we must lazima tutenge siku tufanye ile kitu ambacho inaitwa fasting are you ready to fast yeah. we need to fast and redeem our family Wana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa hivyo I want us to fast for two, for, for, for one day. Then I'll come to fanya hayo maombi. Lazima hili pepo lishindwe kwa jina la Yesu. Kwa sababu ninapoona huyu dada ako na mapepo fulani na lazima kuna mahali ambapo anashika ndio unapata ya kwamba ana win ndugu yaka. Na nyinyi mmekuwa tu watu ambao mnaelewana mmekuwa watu mnaishi kwa upendo ama kuna mahali ulimkosea sijaye kumkosea vizuri kwa sababu umejua inafaa to deal na hii mapepo once and for all sidhani kama kuna nishe mkosea mimi kabisa kabisa sijaye yes. kumkosea na are you ready to forgive uh, your husband yes i'm ready do you love him yes i do you still need him yes are you how are you feeling when he, when he is behaving this way? Very bad. I feel so at broken. Yes. So, tunaenda kuanza maombi. Na ndugu yangu, mimi ile kitu nitakwambia ukwe mpole. Kwa sababu nguvu za kimapepo ziko na nguvu zingine tofauti. But pastor ya guys, he coming too much. Yeye anasema kwa sawa vitu anafanya ni vitu awkward. Mimi nimeara na maoni. Yeah. Na that one is not good. Yeah. Ato, kama anajua kwa sababu bwana anajifanya hivi najua kwa neno la Mungu kuna nguvu na Yesu ni simba wa Yuda anapo nguruma lazima misingi zote za giza zipasuke 
lazima mapepo yote yatoroke lazima mambo yote ambayo yamefunga nyumba ya ndugu ya ga itoroke katika jina la Yesu kwa hivyo na wasii tu maidota uwe mpole na usikubali kushawishika ukakimbia katika waganga jinsi ambavyo naamini Mungu na jinsi ambavyo unajua ya kwamba Mungu wetu anatenda ishara endelea kumtumainia soma neno la Bwana kesho ninapokuja mahali hapa tupate breakthrough ya maombi nami najua kwamba yote itakuwa sawa Amen. I know today ndugu Riaga anaenda kurudi ndani ya nyumba nami najua ya kwamba Mungu anaanza kutengeneza njia na anaanza anaanza kufanya operation yake ya kila pahali na Mungu anafanya msako wake kila mahali lazima haya maneno yote yatajulikana nani anakubaliana na mimi do you have faith that these things are going to work yes do you have faith my brother na muende do you have faith i do have faith can you say nataka mrudie haya maombi semeni bwana yesu bwana yesu twaja mbele zako utusaidie wewe ndio Mungu mwenye nguvu ulinupa ulinipa ubavu wangu ndugu riaga nataka nimweke mikononi mwako mahali popote alipo bwana ninamuombea umpe ufahamu uondoe spirit ya confusion ya kupotelea kwa mipango ya kando katika jina la Yesu Roho mtakatifu ukafanye msako mahali popote uachilie moto kila mahali ndani ya nyumba yangu bwanangu arudi katika jina la Yesu e bwana Yesu utusaidie jamii hii ifunguliwe jamii hii ikombolewe na damu yako Yesu Kristo. Asante Mwenyezi Mungu kwa yote ambao umetenda. Yote tunakupa wewe. Bila wewe sisi ni bure. Bwana tusaidie. Tupate ushindi na ukombozi kwa jina la Baba na la Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Tumaamini tukiomba. Amen. Amen. Wacha tuombe sala ambalo linaenda kuachilia kuanza kufanya operation katika jina la Yesu. Baba Mungu na kutukuza nasema ukafanya restoration ya kipekee. Nyumba hii funguliwe na damu yako, nyumba hii kombolewe. Bwana ndugu Riaga akaweze kupata ufahamu na akaweze kurejea katika nyumba yake. Mapepo ambayo inamzungusha ndani ya mipango ya kando, Bwana ikaweze kushindwa na ndugu huyu akaweze kufunguliwa. Naombea da, dada mwende nikijua ya kwamba Bwana unamtenda mema na ushindi wako Bwana unaweza kujidhihirisha na sifa na utukufu zitakurudia wewe katika jina la Yesu nami nikiomba. Amen. Amen. Let us have hope and everything is going to work. Amen. Tubarikiwe sana. Amen. Bless you. Bless you. Amen. Amen. Watu kusoma atakuwa sawa. Atakuwa sawa. Atakuwa sawa. Amen. Atakuwa sawa. Hakuna jambo linalomshinda Mungu. Si ni sawa? Amen. Bye.